Hello, my name is Paddy Bush. Thanks to Emer and the West Cork Literary Festival for inviting me to do this reading. Uh, I'm going to read uh, three poems uh, written during the various stages of lockdown. Uh, the lockdown was, I suppose, relatively easy for myself and Fianna. Um, we live on literally on a cliff overlooking a beach uh, on Balanskelligs Bay. Uh, our son did our shopping for us. So while we were in the one place, we didn't feel especially isolated or constrained. And it did have the advantage, I think, of allowing us and me as a poet to focus in on the narrower area, um, but very rich area right before our eyes where we've lived for almost 50 years, but perhaps hadn't looked at as intensely ever before. Um, the first poem I'll read is called The Etymology of Isolation. And I was thinking about the word isolation back in March and its root in the Latin word insula, uh, an island which also gives us the word insulation and how they're words with very different connotations. The poem has an epigraph from John Donne's great sermon. The Etymology of Isolation No man is an island entire of itself. John Donne 1. Outside our window Above the wind-flecked bay between its two enclosing headlands, a dozen gannets circle, now and then plunging and struggling up to wheel and plunge again. I am contemplating isolation, its meanings in the here and now and then and again, Contemplating that isolate shares its Latin island roots with insulate. That each one is also a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Isolation warms itself towards insulation. 2. I think of our sun whose house on the small peninsula across the bay I can just make out, and who drops food and news and comfort to our insulated door, like a boatman judging a quick now-or-never surge to a storm-isolated island slipway, quickly heaving up supplies one-handed, the other on the tiller steering a curve astern. He smiles, waves, half-joking, wholly grateful in this semi-isolation. I offer a coinage, peninsulated. We live with that. Uh, about a month later, after that poem was written, our daughter, who lives in Malahide, in the sea, uh, just north of Dublin, um, got the, the coronavirus, um, although in the end her, her test was negative. Um, the late, her medical consultation was fairly clear that she had had it. and. In the days when she had it, because she has a medical condition that makes her very vulnerable, um, were pretty awful days. And then a feeling of relief as we were able to get through. And, you know, remembering back la last April, we really didn't know uh, the consequences of, of getting the disease. It seems 
far less frightening now. Uh, at that time, the unknowability of it made it even more frightening than it is. Reflections 1. The morning sun slants warmth along the beach, breath by breath, as delicately as the heron's slow, angular steps between clumps of seaweed gleaming on tide-washed rocks. The heron stops, straightens and stretches its long neck. The world is a water bead, the man on the beach a reflection in the heron's eye. The woman at a far away cliff top, who has stopped her car on her isolated way home from a virus test to take pleasure in the gannets wheeling offshore, is a reflection suddenly welling in the eye of the man. Two. And that was then, and this is some uncounted days later, and the test is negative, probably falsely negative, your doctor says, but it makes not a blind bit of difference, because whatever it was, was or wasn't, you have come through. At my laptop, I google the words of Te Deum, unanswered. I close my eyes. I recall that morning, that dead still heron, and I see its ragged grey and black outline transfigured. See the bird robe itself in a crane's hieratic whiteness. See the ceremonious outspreading of wings. See it lift itself gracefully toward some high and sacred space. I guess uh Bailam Don Belgeliev um uh which was written on one blessed, very blessed midsummer morning in June um and I, I went out to the edge of the cliff, looked down at the beach and uh saw seals, a heron, and a ringed plover whose nest uh, hollowed out in the sand I had seen the night before with four eggs in it. Um, and it, it depend, the poem depends in Irish in the, that the word in Irish for greeting is banium, I, I greet, it also means I bless. So you have the same word for greeting and blessing. I'll, I'll read the English translation first. Morning greetings during the pandemic. On a midsummer morning on the cliff top, I raise the binoculars ceremoniously to the sea. There, on a low tide rock, three seals lying like stone statues basking in the sun. In shimmering pools, a high-stepping heron dipping fastidiously into its own reflection. On the beach below, a ringed plover cushioning the four eggs I saw last night. As it was from the beginning, as it is, as it will be, I send morning greetings to them, am blessed in return. And this is the original poem in Irish. Banu Madne Le Lina Covid Madin Lor Haurig or Vroch na Falle Or Dim Le Glenny La Horum Chon Fariga Er Harig in Yachter Tra Tur Rome Sheeta in a Nyalava Clehe Ild on Rienu Fain Ilinte Krih Lonrache Koresk Ord Chemul a Prucker 
the Kareshach Nehiva fame. Randrai Hisfum Fado Hladig Sitja a Klohoru Kera Ivacha a Chanakarer Marivi Riv Maratha Fos Mareveg Baniam Doiv Gamadinul Banither May Gurivmila Magath